Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Shooting Up North, Instagram at Alliance PW Network. And feel free to join our Facebook group, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. And don't forget, we have the official Shooting Up North 30 ounce hot and cold stainless steel tumbler. Designed exclusively for Shooting Up North by Justin Donay. Uh, fantastic design. We've sold quite a few of these. If you want to get your hands on this beautiful tumbler, send me an email at alliancepwnetwork at gmail.com. That's alliancepwnetwork at gmail.com. And uh, you can get your hands on this 30-ounce stainless steel hot and cold, um, hot and cold drink tumbler, uh, the official Shooting Up North tumbler. Again, thank you, Justin Dernay, for the fantastic design. Again, Alliance PW Network at gmail.com. And I will send you all the details on how you can own one of these absolutely fantastic, gorgeous, gorgeous tumblers. And um Put this back right there. And, and if you want to order uh, the official Shooting Up North t-shirt, uh, you're, on YouTube, you're on our YouTube channel right now. Look to the top, the Shooting Up North banner. Bottom right-hand corner, you will see Shooting Up North merchandise. Click on that link, and it will take you to our store where you can order a Shooting Up North t-shirt. Uh, we have hoodies. We have long sleeve shirts. We have tank tops. Go ahead. Check it out if you want to get uh, some more um Shooting up north merchandise. Okay, so uh, no way, Jose. Uh, no way, Jose. He had a short stint in Impact Wrestling. Um, he uh, recently spoke with uh, Culture Shock Podcast. Um, I'm sorry, Culture State Podcast. I, I knew I was going to get the name wrong. That's why I didn't check quickly. Uh, so I apologize. So it's Culture State Podcast uh, and Fightful.com here uh, putting this out. Uh, it says no way, Jose. All companies want is no way Jose, but I feel more comfortable being a heel. Uh, so uh, speaking with a Culture State podcast, uh, Jose was asked about the character, the no way Jose character on the independent scene. And this is, uh, this is what Jose had to say. He said, that's all they want. I want to go and do the heel thing. And I'm talking, if I work with a promotion more than once, I'm talking about the possibility of that. As I even told Vince McMahon, that's where I feel more comfortable talking about being a heel. Uh, you guys see the smile and me joking and all that stuff, and I look goofy. But when I have to be an a hole, the energy of booze are so much more than the energy of a cheer, and I feed off that. I don't know if I want to piss people off because that's how I grew up. Uh, bless my mom and dad. I've talked to different promotions. If it's a possibility, but right now all they want is the no way thing until I establish something. That's the thing that is established, and it's a fun character for children and family and stuff. Uh, if they want to bring that in and then have me go out and sweat on everybody as I'm doing this conga line, that's what I do and have fun. When I continue and go back into it, I want to do a more serious take. That's what I feel like I need to do. The next thing, the no way thing, even I knew once they pitched the name, as soon as they did, I was like, oh, that has a shelf life that's going to pigeonhole me. And it has, I have to do something to sort of change it. Uh, says Jose has been performing under, under the name uh, Levy Villains for independent promotions. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, he was no way uh, during his stint with Impact Wrestling. Uh, so here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. A lot of wrestlers have gone to Impact Wrestling to reinvent themselves. Um, Sammy Callahan reinvented himself. Um, well, well, uh, Sammy Callahan used to be the hacker in WWE. Um, then he, uh, he changed characters. So he kind of reinvented himself. Um, EC3, Derek Bateman, uh, his, uh, when he, his initial run in WWE was Derek Bateman, went to uh, Impact Wrestling, reinvented himself as EC3. You have Steve Macklin now, who is coming to Impact Wrestling. He's kind of reinvented himself as well, and, and he's, he's really taken off. Uh, there are... There are number of other wrestlers as as well i'm probably missing i'm sure I'm missing a few names but but you get the gist of what, what i'm trying to say here i think impact wrestling should take a gamble here uh 
I think Impact Wrestling should take a gamble. No way he'll say, obviously, he doesn't want to do the character anymore. He wants to um, reinvent himself. He wants to be a heel. He says he works better as a heel uh, than, a, than as a baby face. So Impact Wrestling should take a gamble here. And I, I would sign No Way Jose and um, let him reinvent himself as a heel. They need another top heel in Impact Wrestling. They need another challenger for Josh Alexander. And uh, if 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 they could bring in another star, uh, like, um, well, No Way Jose was a star in NXT, went to WWE, then he was released. Uh, but if they could bring in someone that could that is looking to reinvent himself and possibly becoming a um, – a, a star in the world of professional wrestling, which is, um, I'm sure, is what Jose uh, uh, wants to do. Uh, why wouldn't anybody want to be a star in the world of professional wrestling? Uh, I would take a gamble. I would take a chance. I would sit down. Uh, I sit down with Jose, and I would say, "Look, you want? I understand. If I was Scott Demore, I would say, look, I understand you want to go through a, a character change. You want to reinvent reinvent yourself. Why don't you come to Impact Wrestling and um, come up with? We'll come up with some ideas. You'll come up with some some ideas. Uh, you'll have the creative freedom." of course in impact wrestling everybody has, from what i've been reading everybody has uh there's a lot of creative freedom in in impact wrestling uh, and um i would say why don't you come to impact wrestling and, and reinvent yourself let's see what you could do and uh i i think it could it could definitely work out i mean i know he's got the talent uh he 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 made the no way jose thing work in nxt uh i really didn't see it much in wwe so but but he was released i don't know if it was just the the talent cuts um uh, they're just they're releasing talents um, just to to reduce the the uh, the roster. So I, I'm not sure exactly why he was released, but uh, and I'm not sure if it actually worked in the WWE. But uh, but as I said, he's right now he's pigeonholed. Right now he's pigeonholed, and that's what everybody wants. No way, Jose. But he doesn't want to do that anymore, and it's quite obvious from this interview here. Uh, so. I would take a gamble. I would take the chance. I would bring him in, let him re. I he let him come in as the no way Jose character, you know. And for the first two weeks, align him with like a, just off the top of my like a Trey Miguel. And uh, he comes out, you know, no way Jose's back. And then like the next week, he just completely turns on Trey Miguel, uh, or or it could be a or you could do that, or it could be like a he's just starting to act different, and it's like a slow turn. You know, he's he's he friends with Trey Miguel. They become good friends. And then there's like a, every week there's something something new. And he's, he's just not the same person. And it's like a, you could do a slow turn. Uh, you could make it last for two months. And then, then he turns and reinvents himself and becomes another character. Or, or he could join the guys behind me. You know, Eric Young could take him under his wing. And then um, in the, uh, what was it, the... Um, the Ministry of Change, I think it was, or, or the baptism. I think it was the baptism of change. Something like I can't remember exactly, but uh, he could he could reinvent himself and and join Violent by Design. I think something like that would work out. I think uh, Eric Young taking him under his wing. I know there's a little issue with Cody Dina right now. Um, I was reading that uh, Joe Doring is heading back to Japan. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to do that. Then they're going to need another member. So why not? No way, Jose reinventing himself and joining Violent by Design. That would be that would be crazy awesome man and i i think he can make it work he he seems pumped when he's talking about being a heel he seems pumped he even says this he even says himself the energy of booze are so much more than the energy of a cheer and he feeds off that he obviously wants to be a heel he said that's where he feels more comfortable so impact wrestling could take a chance here they could have the next big uh next big uh heel star on their hands uh if they take a if they if they take a chance here and i, I wouldn't sign him to a six month deal uh, what i would do is i would sign him to a one year deal cuz he signed him to a six month deal and this thing takes off boom he signs with AEW after six months or he goes back to the WWE after six months um so i wouldn't sign him i would sign him for a, at least a year with a, with an option for a second year and if if you bring it in, you bring them in, and it doesn't work out, then you could always uh, you could always um, part ways. You know what I mean? So there, there's it's a, it's a win win for both for both in my, in my opinion for both parties for Impact Wrestling and for Jose. It's just something that, that they they should try it. And if it works out, and it becomes a it becomes a, one of the top heels in Impact Wrestling, boom! Josh Alexander has another top opponent. Josh Alexander, of course, he's going to go through a name change. He's not going to be no way Jose. He'll go through a, a name change. Uh, but boom, Josh Alexander has another um, another top opponent.
You know, his his in ring skills aren't aren't you know they're 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 not terrible. You know, he's got. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, wrestling is no way Jose. He's got that character. He has to be the no way Jose character, and um, he could he could give a good match. I think if he changed characters and uh, he adds more uh, moves to his repertoire, he could really be a, a, a top heel. That's 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 my feeling. That's uh, that's that's my gut feeling right there. Um, that he could be a top heel, and um, again, Josh Alexander. Lord knows Josh Alexander could use another uh, fresh uh, top heel opponent. Um, I, I'd say Impact Wrestling. I think Impact Wrestling, Scott Demore, uh, they should definitely go with it. I think Scott Demore should sit down with Jose and they should work something out uh, where he comes in and um, either, like I said, violent by design or he befriends somebody and slowly, slowly changes um, or he could come in right away and, like uh, like when Austin Aries turned on him in NX NXT, uh, he could just come in, be dancing with Trey Miguel, and then boom, just turns right on Trey Miguel, and, and we got the new uh, we got the new character. You know, I I I'm all for it. I think Impact Wrestling should give it a go. I mean, especially with the uh, AEW uh, signing, you know, top talent left and right. This is this is the kind of this is the this is the kind of things that. Uh, that Impact Wrestling should be doing. They should be taking a chance on. I mean, like I said, they brought in Steve Macklin. I mean, Steve Macklin is one of the top guys right now in Impact Wrestling. Uh, they should uh, give uh, give Jose an opportunity um, to turn heel, uh, to reinvent his character, because this is what he obviously wants to do. And I think it could uh, it could really pay off Impact Wrestling. So I'd be all for it. I'd be all for it. And hopefully, uh, you know, if anyone's going to give uh, Jose an opportunity to reinvent himself, I really hope it's Impact Wrestling. Uh, I don't think AEW would give him an opportunity to do that. I don't I don't think we could see that. I think if he went back to the WWE, they're going to want No Way Jose. Um, MLW might give him an opportunity to change the character. Uh, but uh, I think Impact Wrestling should jump on this. And um, as I said, Scott DeMar should sit down with Jose and, and they should come up. With with something, uh, come up with some ideas. You know, bounce ideas off each other and uh, see what they come up with, and uh, bring him in. And um, you know, let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Again, I think it's uh, I think it's definitely something. It's definitely something Impact Wrestling should uh, should consider, and they should, uh, in my opinion do okay so we're gonna leave it at that uh i'm gonna be doing a rick flair last match preview and prediction show either later tonight or tomorrow um i'm watching the news anything's anything happens of course any breaking news i'll be uh i'll be back but, but until then thank you very much take care bye-bye and stay safe everyone so long bye-bye